Aravinda De Silva as the number four for uh, Sri Lanka. Coming in following the dismissal of uh, Guru Singha, who was bold. Playing the ball on from Ian Bishop. Aravinda De Silva off the mark. So that's the uh, situation for Sri Lanka. Current run rate, 2.78. So they're not letting it uh, fall behind too much. Once again, no ball. And to make it even worse, it's a no ball down the leg side, which has gone for four. This adds insult to injury. Campbell is the fielder. He's done well. Trouble. Oh, yeah. Well, now, real problems there. He's dropped his bat, and uh, even if he hadn't dropped it, he was going to be struggling. That's gone over the top of mid-wicket. It's going to be four runs, anything short. The silver's going to take full toll up. He plays the full shot beautifully. Kirtley Ambrose being reintroduced from the river end. That's a beautiful shot off the back foot through the covers. That'll go all the way to the boundary. And that just underlines the class of this man, De Silva. He's a beautiful hitter of the ball, either off the front or the back foot. It's a pat on his head from his captain there. Four more to the Sri Lankans. All right. West Indies, three for 61. He gets runs there, a single out to mid-wicket. That brings up the 100 for the Sri Lankans. Five runs coming from the over. It's now three for 100. Oh, he's got him. Yes, he's caught behind. Big Nick on that one, trying to force it away on the offside. The Silva is out for 46 off 60 balls. That's a very important wicket to the West Indies. It may be just a little bit late, but they needed it. They certainly did, and uh, they're back in with a chance. It's uh, five for 130 now. This looked like the top spinner. Yes, it was, and a bit of bounce as well. That's nicely taken by Courtney Brown, who I think is a pretty good keeper and has done very well. Five for 130. 